Adelaide. And now to the big game from Football Park between Glenelg and North Adelaide. An important game for Glenelg, they were on top of the league ladder, they wanted to stay there obviously, and for the Roosters, well, they needed the win because they needed to stay in the five, and before today's game, they were in fifth position and in danger of moving down to sixth position if Sturt defeated uh, West Adelaide and won that match by a big margin. We're going to join the match at the 22 minute mark of the third quarter with a concern, Graham Corns, your commentators Jerry Harrison and Daryl Hicks. Concentrating Corns. And Glenelg obviously are keen to close up this game. North have had a run on. They've kicked four goals in five, four minutes. Christie and Parker. Crowd of players. Chance now for Winton. Put it out wide. Buttering to Winton. Rather, it was McDermott. Oh, great take from Warren Ralph. Just a little stretch over Paul Arnold. The full forward suddenly with two, and a chance for a third. He's well placed for this kick. The wind right to left. 20 metres out. The concentration of a professional full forward. Smooth kick, right through the centre. His third, Glenelg's 11th, 11 8, 74, North Adelaide 12 9, 81. This really is a fine competition, an excellent possession by McDermott, and the kick under extraordinary pressure, and luck of fortune for Glenelg as Ralph was out in front to take a good mark in opposition to Arnold. So now the gap seven points in favour of North. Parker in there versus Christie. Parker's big thump forward for Craig. Tried to work it back to Sanders. Darren Jarman helps out. A high kick with plenty of distance. Jim West getting up early, but effectively enough. Gibbs coming right across the field looking for Marshall. Well done. Good disposal. Chig Witten now gives the lead. Tiller closes on him. Chig Witten not quite. And the ball will be thrown in. And half forward left for the Roosters. North going with what breeze there is to the north end and leading by seven points. Christie this time opposed to centre half forward Bennett. They lock arms, Seabone over the top. It's a replay. Bonnell holding well against North Adelaide. Began the quarter 12 points clear. And North have come back with five goals to two. Bennett on the check side is Craig. Chigwidden oh. over to Salisbury. Oh, it's suicide country. Salisbury with courage. Protected by McDermott. Stacks on the mill. Centre wing. A little bit of inconsistency in the umpiring department. Salisbury staying in over the ball. And the umpire not giving him protection. Andrew Jarman dribbles it forward. Parker's caught. By the leg, ruled the umpire. And Max Parker will take the kick from centre wing. He's given North the passage away with some big thumps in the ruck work. Good penetrating kick. Then it has spoiled. Knocked out by Craig. Gibbs working to the line. Trying to get it to Maynard. Succeeds. Peter Maynard's been a bit sloppy with the hands today. Burton's kick is well smothered. The bulk there of the big fellow Lang, but picked up beautifully by Darren Jarman. Lang again, is it? And Lang putting number five on the board. What a performance this quarter, north by 13. And you could be excused for mistaking Ian Lang for Darren Jarman. They look very similar. Lang quite not the mobility of Darren Jarman, but certainly the accuracy as he kicked his fifth. So, two minutes into time on, North Adelaide are suddenly 13 points ahead. Parker. McDermott went in strongly. Neil Craig sets it up beautifully to Carlaw. To space. Gibbs cracking back. Takes the safe mark. Has David Marshall. 
and there's a great combination between those two. The setup was there. Carlaw had to flatten Marshall. And that's the ethics of the game. We see Alan Stringer and Kim Hodgman moving about the boundary line. Chance for Simons the leap. Sims. Seabone on the back play. Put under pressure by Bennett. But John Seabone stood his ground well. 15 metre penalty will help Seabone. He moves on quickly to find Maynard in the centre. Prompt, a bit of a tension. And now Peter Maynard. Swinging it wide. It's all North Adelaide here. Steve Bickler trying to get to the front spot. Did well. Chris McDermott trying to tap it out. Simons, Winton, good fade. The running support from Chigwitton. The snap at goal going long. Carey, good ball, goal. Well done, Peter Carey. Chigwitton gets uh, goal number two. And it's only seven points separating the sides. Well, the pressure was hot. But Carey's bolt against Christie. And the ball snuck through. Carey's bulk against custodian Paul Arnold. And he moved for Mountain. And they're back within seven points. Well, what a game. First one, then the tunnel. Parker's chance opposed to Christie. The bounce favoured Christie. Gibbs on the ball. Winton. Oh, not quite the concentration. McDermott out beautifully to Maynard. Chance for Ralph Butterick. And the mark, because where the free kick has been paid, well, as little Paul Arnold could do, he's been injured now as he gets up and limps back. And Craig Butterick, well, Mike Moonen, rarely do you show, see him expressing himself. Hiding behind his box as Craig Butterick shoots, looking for his second. Kick is smooth right through the centre. And the goal umpire has decided that mark was taken on the goal line. In fact, I think he used the goal umpire as something of a step left. The world is marking has been superb on that last line. Butterick overruns it. Darren Jarman, casually clear, puts it onto the chest of Ryan at half back. With time running out in this term, Cordell needing to bottle it up now and not let North Adelaide score. Good mark, Seaburn. No, not quite. Looking for help. Simons is short. He goes long. Winton uh, contests but couldn't bring it in. Simons overran. Sims over the top of Simons. And a stalemate ruled. And that will suit Glenelg. They want it either further forward. They certainly don't want it down in their defensive area. Parker, good tap down. Darren Jarman fumbling. Maynard in over the top of Tiller. And uh, another bounce called for. Almost up to half forward left for Glenelg. Seven point margin. 13-9 north. 12-8 Glenelg. Parker, good tap. Tiller trying to work through. Blocked by McDermott. They work it out. Chigwidden roving well. Hooks it back in through half forward. The bounce beat Riley. Gibbs nudges it forward. Butterick giving ground back to Steve Bickler. Infield, McDermott. Oh, ran the triangle beautifully. He's run a long way. Ralph now, untroubled. Carey, goal. Oh, no, it's still not there. The umpire, timeout. The game by seven points at the last change. North 39, 87. Glenelg 12 out. 12, 8, 80. It's North Adelaide by seven points as we begin the final quarter. Thanks to a five-goal third-quarter burst from rookie full forward Ian Lang. Wide goes Maynard, looking for Chigwith. Post to Wildey, trapped by Riley. Holding the ball, says the umpire. John Riley, chip short to David Wildey. Rather to David Tiller, the former... North Adelaide skipper towards half forward at the back carry a chance for North Adelaide through 
almost looked like uh, Sanders, but it wasn't. It was Paul Wilson who's off the interchange. Another rookie for North Adelaide, the blonde-headed Paul Wilson, looking very much like David Sanders. The wrestling match continues between Redden and Carey. Clock burrowing. Sanders. Redden out wide. Wilson again. And trapped on that far half forward flanker, North Adelaide. And so, one minute into the final quarter, Bill with the breeze, needing to pick up at least seven points. That's a defensive flank for North. Carey takes front spot. Or around us right from Redden. McDermott gets the kick for Glenelg. High to the half forward line and Steve Bickler stands his ground well. Pulled down there by Clisby. Been a big clash. Clisby has had the honours so far. Awkward looking kick from Steve Bickler. It's high. Still gets plenty of distance. Good spoil. M Maynard blocking the path well. Chick Witten trying to work out. And Wildey takes the loose one. North Adelaide are in the van here. Clomp coming the other way is Sims. He'll get there first. Clomp doing the uh, shepherding does it well. And Bennett has found that centre wing by Sims. Backing up, Sims takes it again. Long kick. Looking for Roberts. Play on will be the call. The loose one out the back. Lang to ground. Lang strong pulls it in. And a bounce to result. That centre half forward for North. Well played, Ian Lang. Sure play from such a junior. 18-year-old Georgetown forward. Carey opposed to Bennett. Carey to tap McDermott. We've seen that movement before along the line to Wayne Skinner. And Ross Gibbs balances up, places the ball for Butterick. A brilliant take despite the contest from John Riley. He's been busy and on top of Riley over the day. Looking for Christie at the back, Wildy. The numbers are with Glenelg. Wilson to a little high, Gary Christie. Rather, Warren Ralph. Bradley Ryan must go back over the line. He's fitted in well to that North Adelaide defence. Ryan wide looking for Bennett. Oh, great take, Craig Butterick. The applause of the crowd from the half forward, who early was having trouble with his takes, but was contacting a lot of balls. Wildy. Rather, it's Parker. Max Parker now in defence across to Darren Jarman. Has a panic. Salisbury applying the pressure. Donovan leads in the race. Glenelg have the dash. All the time, pressured. And out of bounds on the full will allow... Andrew Jarman, a chance to bring the ball in. Graham Corns again, poised for the action. Well-placed kick, but Seabarn, not quite. They really have to earn these marks. Marshall, trying to work through. Coming the opposite way, Winton. Gives it off. Well done by Simons. Out looking for Butterick. We got into the back of Riley. Butterick, the free kick. John Riley, first pushed. And then in the ret retaliating action, and Butterick gets the free kick. And Craig Butterick, who kicked one in the second term, is a long way out. Breeze certainly there to help him. When they'll have it this term, no leads forthcoming. And Butterick sends it long. And into the goal square, Chigwitten trying to work out. Andrew Jarman well down in defence. And the ball will be bounced on the lip of the goal square five minutes into this third term with North leading by seven points. He's going to always take the perfect kick. He gave it a chance. Oh, brilliantly read. Off hands by Jeff Winton. He's now got four goals. And what a will of the wisp forward he is. That'll lift the good old side. 13-8, 86 to 13-9. 87. Oh, an important goal for Coach Corns. Certainly sent something happening, and that's the sort of thing that will lift his side. Three goals in the second quarter when brought under the ground, Jeff Winton, and now number four on the board. One point the difference. Carey. Tap away. Simons. 
Helped out by Wayne Stringer. Oh, infield. Now drives deep. That wasn't well done as he threw Schneebickler offline. The bounce favours Schneebickler. But Clisby good enough to work it to the line. A throw in just inside the half forward for North. Kim Hodgman, who started the game in the pocket, hasn't been there since the first term. Schneebickler doing the ruck work with Clisby. Plump was up high. Darren Jarman works it out. Ryan the kick. Set away. Carey versus Redden. Redden got hand the ball. To ground went Grenville. Craig's clear. Time to have a look. In he goes looking for Lang. Past West. But backing up is Donovan. Trying to work it to the line. But a high tackle ruled in favour of Mark Donovan. And Glenelg will come out of defence. Gibbs. Good fade. Long to West. West. Time to have a look. Goes infield looking for Salisbury, but Darren Jarman. Good recovery. A high chip. Sims is under it. Oh, West just there in time. Well mopped up, Grenvold. The kick now from Maynard wobbles up, and Andrew Jarman's there for North. Time to farm off to David Tiller. The left foot high, looking for Roberts. Seabone in front. Well played, Roberts. A chance now, McDermott in front of that pack like a rover. And backed up by Mark Donovan. Winton, the runner at half forward, clear. What a player he's been since coming on quarter time. Christie's in the pocket. The wobbly kick. Wildy kept in front well by North Adelaide and trapped in the spot. Steve Bick was on top, Corns is concerned. His point is, his side is one point down. And Kim Hodgman gets the chance, takes over from Wayne Stringer. Winton takes, attempts the shot, nearly off half foot. Good play, Ralph, the shot from Butterick. Number two, Craig Butterick, the snap from the left forward pocket. And Glenelg, 14-8, 92, North, 13-9, 87. Well, they're the sorts of goals that win games without any doubt to this term so far corners thinking that it might be there the first one coming from Winton with a full body drive at the ball and then some good efforts on hands and knees to get it to Butterick and what a magnificent snapshot for his second so the lead back with Glenelg at the seven minute mark Carey getting the tap Simons important touches Tiller in the van Chick Winton the tackle but play on the call Clisby barges through. North up two half forward. Seabone, but out the back it goes. Grenvold, a good trap. Burton looking for the free kick. And finally gets it. Burton really took the umpire into that one. Burton drives wide. He'll have to go back. The kick not taken over the mark. And the ball brought back for Craig Burton to take this kick. Putting it in the same position, allowing Roberts and Lang to run at it. Good spoil by West, searching the line. Sims first there for North. Hemmed in by Gibbs. The two Glenelg players collide, however. Maynard, blind kick. Trapped nicely by Sanders. And the ball will be thrown in at half forward right for the Roosters. Peter Maynard struggling for form. Just kicked blindly. Bit of an indication of his lack of confidence. The bulk of Carey to Hodgman, off to McDermott. And on that back play, Darren Jarman read it well. Play calming down a little. Glenelg by five points, 10 minutes into the final. West high, a great take. Stabilizing Art Glenelg. Wide to Hodgman. His experience will be invaluable. Short to Simons. A good duel with Sanders. Butterick the mover. Sleebick were wide. Simon's measuring his kick. At the back was Mick Redden. Decided to play on. Called on by the umpire. A lot of hands and knees football can be expected as this desperate play from both sides. Clump, Sleebickler in action. Calling down the bounce. 
half forward left for the, the for uh, Glenel. Redmond Carey, Carey's tap away, well stolen Tiller, tumbles one to the centre wing area. Work through Craig, good trap, got it back to Andrew Jarman, the loose one. Kim Hodgman at the bottom of the pack, Salisbury pulled out, Hodgman again, and he's won the free kick. Hodgman quickly back, Gibbs, time to have a look, Chick Widdens loose, looks for that player, over the top came Ryan, trying to work through, helped out by Sims, and North Adelaide back to half forward, into the back of Seabone, Maynard Bennett's got possession though, Salisbury wants the free kick, and he's got it. Peter Bennett left alone, and the numbers were with Glenelg. Wide is uh, Simons, but he goes to the centre to find Carey. Trying to have a look and draw defence. Now swings it wide, looking for Butterick. He's got away from Ryan again. Butterick now. Swinging a long kick in, looking for Ralph. He's got the run in, he's got the mark as well. Perfectly positioned kick from the boot of Craig Butterick. And Warren Ralph sailing in from the side. Three goals against his name and a very important kick coming up. He was protected well then by Slee Bickler who sacrificed himself. And Ralph, the clean take. 12 minute mark of this final turn. Bonnell by five points. Bonnell by 11 points as Good performance there by Glenelg. They ended up winning that match by 16 points, 16-9, played 13-11 at the final siren. Ralph and Winton kicked four each for Glenelg. So did uh, Tony Solomon. He kicked two anyway, Simon. So did Chigwitten and Butterick. And for North Adelaide, Lang, first player, kicked five. First league game, Roberts kicked three, and the German brothers kicked two each. After the match, Jerry Harrison spoke with the concerned Glenelg coach, Graham Corns. Graham, firstly, congratulations. A very important win for you. You're getting the reputation of being slow starters. Yes, we have uh, the last few weeks been slow, and it's disturbing. You can't normally give North Adelaide a start like that. But still, we were only uh, we were four goals down at quarter time, which is about one less than we, where we should have been because the breeze was worth, I thought, about three goals. Well, it certainly was an important game to you, very meaningful. I thought that the, the boys were nervous. There was a lot of poor ball handling, particularly in defence, in that first term. Uh, tentative might be the right word, where you, where you perhaps go over defensive, which is a problem. But uh, when they started to uh, take the initiative them, themselves, they looked a lot better. I don't think nervous. I think I think probably they're just over, you know, over enthusiastic. Well, certainly, the work rate lifted in the second quarter. A carry, you know, really lifted you, and the two goals that Simon's kick were terribly important. Yeah, that as well as Jeff Winton's uh, enthusiasm and creativity on the forward line. And well, we started to run and use the ball and control at first, and uh, that was important for us. Well, Winton was terribly creative uh, up there. He kicked three goals in that term, as well as the two from Simons. He's been able to do it. He makes a habit of doing it, uh, coming off the bench and getting straight into it. And we needed that because we had the two small men, small men Hodgman and Chig Whitten, and David Wildey was creating some havoc up there with his reach and his marking power. So Jeff, as well as coming on and controlling that, gave us goals. And probably most important in the final quarter was the experience of both Carey and McDermott. Carey's blocking up in the forward line was magnificent in his marking. His marking around the ground was very good and his general play around the ground was great. I thought he played a, a fantastic game. And Chris McDermott, who we agonised over at selection because of his broken nose, you know, really played very well as, also. Well, you returned the compliment of the grand final. Well done and well up on top. Oh, well, it's another game, isn't it? Well done. Thank you. Jerry Harrison speaking with Graham Corn to Glenelg coach. Let's check now the other three results from round seven here, round eight here in South Australia. Look at that, Sturt absolutely annihilated West Adelaide. They won the match by 139 points. Wilmot kicked nine, Shackey kicked five, Kim Russell kicked three, I, Scott, the, Scott Russell and Popplestone kicked two each, all for Sturt and for West Adelaide. Miller was their only contributor, he kicked two goals. Port Adelaide defeated West Torrens. They won the match comfortably by 68 points. Hodges kicked seven for Port Adelaide, Williams four, Simpson Brown and Darren Smith three each, and for West Torrens, Taylor four, McGrath three, Fotia and Neiman kicked two each, and Woodville defeated South Adelaide by 66 points, Nichols kicked 11 for Woodville, Templeton three and Arben three, and for South Cross kicked three, Caplet two, Steckle two, and Jackson two each.
Joining us, Kim Dillon. Kim, we were out at uh, Elizabeth. How did you see that game? I thought it was a tremendous game. It was a game that had to be won by both sides. It was time that Central beat one of the better credentials uh, teams in the competition. And they did it the hard way because Norwood looked pretty good early. But uh, to Central's credit, they got on top. They led by about 25 or 26 points. But Norwood, being the good side they are, came back within six points in that last term. What about Gilbert McAdam's skills, particularly in that second quarter, which we haven't seen yet? Well, we saw him in the first game of the year, and I mentioned then that I thought Gilbert McAdam was a mild sensation in the opening game of the year. But he's continued that form. He's such value for touches. He doesn't get... Uh, He's not easily harassed or put off of his game. He just goes about his business, and he's a remarkably talented player. OK, what about the state game? How did you see that South Australia's easy win? Firstly, I thought it was tremendous by the South Australian uh, sporting public to get behind the game. There's a crowd of about 18,500 people, which was absolutely tremendous. And uh, full marks to the SANFL for the way they promoted the game. But uh, I thought the game, it, it was good to watch as a spectacle, but uh, it went as predicted by most mm. football scribes. Mm. Uh, they were a young side, they were fairly inexperienced. They came out with a lot of enthusiasm. They pressured our side well. But when the chips were down, we had all the answers because we're, we're a far more talented unit than what they are. They did well for half of the game. It's, it's sad that a lot of those West Australians <coughs> will be drafted next year to the VFL because of the fact the moratorium finishes. Well, I think it's sad that the, the VFL even made that competition. Mm. You know, it should be a truly national competition. And it's a, to me, it's a tragedy. That's a personal view. But, uh, you know, w uh, Western Australia decided to enter that competition, so they've got to live with it now. Spawn a big game, so too, Andrew and Darren Jarman. Uh, we had winners all over the place, didn't we? Andrew Jarman was uh, tremendous, and I think uh, you know his feats have been well documented uh, throughout the week, but uh, he's just such a remarkably brilliant player. And uh, it was good that Michael Noonan was coaching, because I think after the two incidents that uh, Jarman was involved in, had it been any other coach, I think that Andrew Jarman may have been removed from the ground for disciplinary reasons. But uh, Michael Noonan, knowing Jarman, left him on there, and uh, that put a bee in his bonnet, that did, and that was just the spark he needed, and uh, he set the team on fire. And we must thank Channel 10, too, for that vision. Thanks, Kim. Let's check now the, v the South Australian ladder after the completion of round eight. Glenelg on top, central in second position, then Port Norwood. North and Sturt just outside of the five. They won very well today, but it just wasn't enough to get that percentage right up to North Adelaide. Then Tollens, Woodville, West and South. Checking the VFL scores last night, Essendon absolutely annihilated the Brisbane Bears. They won that match as they like. 194 played, 54 in the finish. Today, Collingwood defeated North Melbourne. They won that match easily. Hawthorne defeated Footscray by 89 points. Sydney defeated Richmond by 57 points. St Kilda Defeated Melbourne, the shock of the round, by 28 points. Geelong defeated Fitzroy by 33 points. And tomorrow, the West Coast Eagles play Carlton. Top five over in Melbourne. Hawthorne, Collingwood, Melbourne, Carlton and Essendon. That may, that may uh, change, of course, with the match tomorrow. And uh, the uh, matches to be played next week in Adelaide. Round nine, Torrens and South at Footy Park. Sturt and Port at the Adelaide Oval, an important one for Sturt. Norwood Glenelg at the Norwood Oval, that's a big game. Western Woodville at Richmond, Woodville looking at another win and another big game at Prospect, North Adelaide and Central District. It's almost our program. Kim, a uh, big day in sport, apart from footy, what else have you got? Yes, coming up in the news, don't miss the news segment. We've got VFL football, the French Open, basketball and our regular racing package. OK, thanks Kim, we'll look forward to that. That is our program. Stand by for the news. Don't forget tonight at 10 past 10 league football action. Until then, good night everyone.